Good evening, everybody. Happy Friday. How is everyone doing on this fabulous Friday? Speaking of fabulous, check out this headband. It's a slick or non-skid one that I received as a gift. So hopefully they start selling these because these would be awesome for like working out or um, pulling your hair back to put your makeup on or wash your face. Cool little incentive or just like a, just a gift I received from them. So hi, Kaylin, you are your first to arrive. Hi, Renee, how are you? So, um... I just want to say hello to everybody. So we're going to do a series. Um, I started the other day, series that was number one. This is number two, and I'm going to do a series of three um, about skincare. So when you hop on, please say hello. If this is your first time watching me, give me a number two in the comments or number one in the comments. And um, please share this video with your friends and family so they can see. But how was everyone's Friday? If you had a great Friday, give me some hearts or give me something. Hi, Christopher. Um, good. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you had a good Friday. So, like I said, I'm going to start. This is my nighttime routine um, that I'm going to do tonight. And I'm sure some of you seen the nighttime routine, but I'm going to um, I'm going to go over nine steps, or nine, not really steps, nine tips that I'm going to give you. So remember the other day I told you it's really um, important to exfoliate your skin. Hi, Deborah, How are you? Oh, Renee had a good Friday. So if you had a good Friday, guys, give me some hearts. Give me some emojis or something. So remember about exfoliating. Um, so uh, my first tip is... Over exfoliating, the feeling of squeaky clean skin is great, but over over exfoliating can excalibrate skin conditions, excalibrate conditions, and breaking down the skin's protective barrier. So only exfoliate like once or twice a week at tops, guys. So that's why it's really important to do like a mask one day a week. And my husband Chris and I have been falling down on doing our mask on Wednesdays. But make sure that you're doing a mask. Um, so let's see. Um, good. Um, sorry, guys. I apologize. People keep messaging me. So number two is not wearing your SPF daily. Remember we talked about that too. Um, it's really good that you wear sunblock. Um and not just wearing it when you're in the sun because sunscreen is your best protection against premature aging. I don't want a premature age. Do you? If you don't want a premature age, give me a number two or something because who wants premature aging? I don't want premature aging, right? We don't want premature aging. So make sure that um, you're wearing, and we talked about that, and tonight if you order this, it's free shipping. Any order tonight, from now until I think like a couple more hours, if you order an, um, a sunscreen, and this is for men and women, it's just not for, it's just not for women, it's for men too, and you can use it as a primer under your makeup. So um, if you order a sunscreen or Enduring Lip, tonight you get a free sunscreen. I mean, a free sunscreen, free shipping. Sorry, not free sunscreen. You buy a sunscreen or buy it and buy an enduring lip, you get free suns or free shipping. Too many S's. So, tip number three is um, not using any products because you have sensitive skin. So, all you girls that say, I have sensitive skin or I have oily skin, or all you men that say you have sensitive skin. Your skin needs extra care and the correct products. Let the skin therapist help you find the right products for your sensitive skin, right? So you, if you have sensitive skin, we have products that can help you with sensitive skin. 
So just because you have sensitive skin like rosacea or um, or eczema or anything like that, you know, make sure you message me and I can sure help you out with that. But before we go any further, I am going to cleanse my face right now. Um, and this is a great cleanser. Dream Clean, guys, is for all you oily skin girls, teens, um, men and women, both. So, um, you know, Dream Clean. It's good for more oily skin, more younger skin, um, and it it really cleanses and gets deep down in those pores. Um, so I'm using that right now. I'm going to be using that up until probably, I'm going to quit probably this month because um, it's it kind of, it's too dry from, or it dries me out too much. So if you really need to be dried out, that's a kind to use. But anyways, remember, warm water and then is what you wash your face with and then um, splash it with the, with some cold water after you wash your face. So I'm going to put on just a little bit is all you need. Did you guys see I don't have very much and it's going to take all my eye makeup off. It's going to take my enduring lipstick off that I had on. It's going to take my eyebrows off. And just a little bit. And make sure that you guys are getting your neck. We tend to just stop right here at our jawline. But you know, really cleanse that neck area. And just a few splashes of water will rinse it right off. And then remember to rinse just a couple times. Splash a couple times with cold after you rinse. And just dab it with a clean towel. Do not scrub, just blot with a clean towel. Hi Erica, hi Diane. You guys hopped on while I was washing my face. So you guys missed my tips, my first couple tips. I'm gonna give nine tips. So, and check out my cool little headband I got as a gift. Hopefully they start selling these headbands. So, I think I gave you a couple tips already. Let's move on to tip number three. I think I, wait. One, I told you no over exfoliating. Number two was not wearing your SPF daily. Remember? SPF daily. Um, number three was... Um, not using products because you have sensitive skin, right? So we, we tend to say that we have sensitive skin so we can't use products, which is not true because we have products for sensitive skin. The next tip is blessing your skin with hot water only. Just like I said, we can use hot water, but not extremely hot, right? Um, as the, in the, especially in the cold mornings, like in the winter, um, when the temperatures are turned up, the heat of the water and the pressure of the shower can lead to broken capillaries or red veins. So for you, Christopher, or Miranda, if she's watching, my daughter, they love extremely hot showers or extremely hot water. It is not good for your face. Warm water, yes. Kind of a little tendency to be a little warm on the hot side is okay but not hot water. And then you wanna splash it with cold, like I was saying. Next tip is um, stopping your skincare regimen at your chin, just like I was saying. Hi, Merlene. 
Just like I was saying while I was washing my face, make sure you go all the way down your neck. The next step is using, so this is something. Um, using up that old product you have way in the back of your cupboard. Hi, Cheryl. Um, you know, believe it or not, guys, products have a shelf life. So just because you've had um, some foundation, you've had some foundation that you've had since 1968, some eyeshadow since 1968 in the back of your cupboard, and you're going to use it. No. They have a shelf life and lose all their effectiveness. And it's all you also have risk getting a skin irritant and possibly a bacterial infection. And who wants that? Yuck, right? Who wants a bacterial infection? So you need to make sure you're not using old sunblock on your face or sunscreen on your face. You're not using old foundations. You're not using old uh, moisturizers or anything on your face because that stuff breaks down over time, right? So we make sure that we're using newer products. A Kai Ruby and especially mascaras, guys, because you don't want all that bacteria, you know, causing you some kind of eye fungus or eye, you know, problems. So you really, you, we need to change our mascara like every two to three months. So all you girls that have ordered mascara from me in the past, it's time to order new. And I know Merlene did that today. So the next tip is skipping your mask. And I already talked about that. Um, you know that a mask is really important and, um, okay, masks are important, um, so make sure you do a regimen of doing it. Cleaned all mine out when I ordered my Lime Life. Way to go. I'm going to give Merlene. Ready to go, Merlene, because that's what you need to do. Believe it or not, guys, I know people have a tendency, oh, I haven't worn that. I'm just going to keep it. You know, I'm just going to keep all that makeup because I hardly ever use it. I'm just going to keep it. Guys, it has a shelf life. Just like you have food in your cabinets. Hi, Tawana. You have food in your cabinets, right, that have a shelf life. Same goes with your makeup, believe it or not. It has a shelf life and your skincare, not just your makeup, but your sunscreen, your cleansers, your mask, everything like that. And so we don't want to put anything harmful on our skin, right? And remember, it takes 26 seconds for things to absorb into your skin and get into your bloodstream. Remember that. Next tip is not cleaning your tools. How many of you have some cleanser or cleaner for your brushes and your sponges? We need to clean our tools. It's very important. There are few tools that you come in contact with your skin. But makeup brushes, face cloths, towels, and even your pillow causes, um, pillows cause, it has bacteria in them, right? So all the above, um, you need to clean your tools regularly mm -hmm. because all the dead skin cells and bacteria that accumulate on them. How gross is that, right? So you wash your sheets, right? We don't just keep our sheets dirty for months and months and months and months and months, do you? No, you don't. So same goes with um, same goes with your brushes or, or anything. You want to use nice, clean. You don't want to use a towel that's been hanging for months, right, on your face. Or you don't want to get into a bed that has nasty sheets, right? So it's the same goes with your brushes because all that dead skin cells and bacteria is in there and it's going to get on your skin and it's going to get into your skin and to your pores. That's gross. Um, yep, Marlene has the cleaner. She sure does. And she uses it twice a month or once a month. Good for you. So let me put some due date on who has some due date if you've ever if you bought due date you know give me um give me an emoji give me a number three if you bought due date from me and use it as the essential oil guys i love due date i love the way it makes me feel for all you people that think oh i have oily skin i shouldn't be putting it on my skin wrong 
if you have oils, oily skin, your body does not have enough oil. That's why it's producing over producing oil. So make sure you put some oil and this essential oil is great for your skin. It smells wonderful. Hi Shelby. It smells so good. So if you have some due date, you guys need to get you some. It's, it smells great and it's great for your skin. So um, so those are my tips. I don't think I have any more. I have them all down here on my tablet. I forgot to, or I was going to give them all to you. Let me see. There's any more tips. Um, oh, I have one more. Not listening to your skin. Our skin is phenomenal. I can't say that word. Sorry. It's good organ. It's a great organ that shows us signs and signals of what may be going on internally and what we're lacking. So you need to listen to your skin, just like I got. I just finished saying, if you have oily skin, or if you're breaking out in some great big cyst acne, um, it might be your diet. You know, it might be something you're eating. You know, you if you we can't if we don't want to put chemicals in on our face, we really don't should be putting them in our body, right? So, and your face is going to tell you that you're going to start breaking out, especially if you're not using good products. So, let's use, um, you know, chemicals that are free from heart or products that are free from harmful chemicals. You know, let's use those on our face. Um, oh, I cannot see. Oh, thanks for the tips and reminders. You're so welcome. I'm just finishing up. And I'm just going to put some of my skin therapists on. So, thank you for watching, guys. And make sure, please share this video with your friends and family so that way they can see it. And remember what I always say. Who knows what I always say besides my husband? My husband knows what I always say. If you guys watch my videos, you know what I always say at the end of my videos because I firmly believe hashtag share the love, right? Because everybody needs love. No matter who you are, everybody needs love. So let's make a conscious effort to be nice. And you guys have a great evening. And don't forget, skincare number series Number and my series number three is tomorrow. I got all tongue tied again, so you know, make sure you watch number three tomorrow. So we'll be back for coffee and chat in the morning. Chris and I will. Mm -hmm. So I will talk to you then. Love you guys. Bye. Have a great Friday night. <laughs>